Hey guys, James from TechLens here. And what I want to do is talk to you today about desktop webcam security. So, let's get into it. Now, we all know these devices. You and I probably both have one, well I definitely have one. We use them for video calls, streaming, but it's not the primary reason why we use our computer. And as we all know in today's society, anything can be hacked, your computer, my computer, anything. The factors really for that is who's hacking you if they have the skills to and the time to, um, and if, if you are a target on their radar really. So what I want to do today is investigate potential ways that when we're not using our webcam, we're not being viewed, we're not being watched, we're not being monitored. So what can we do to secure our webcams? The way I see it, there are three different hardware options that we can, we can investigate and there are in the market that allow us to protect our webcam when we're not using it. Option number one is using a lens cover. We've seen those devices for my Logitech C920, I think it's about $10 on Amazon. They're not that expensive. And what they do is they essentially cover up the camera of the webcam. So that means whoever's accessing it won't be able to see anything as it will just be dark. It would be the lens cover that they're viewing. So benefits to that is inexpensive, $10. Uh, downfalls to that, there's a couple. So it doesn't actually disconnect your webcam from your computer so it can still be accessed. And as I said before, all that they'll see is a black video feed. However, they can still access your microphone potentially. And with that lens cover covering a decent part of your webcam, it may actually be covering the indicator showing you that the webcam is active. Um, depending on how they're actually accessing your webcam or what functionality is built into the lower level of the device, they can turn this off anyway, but it's, an, it's a nice feature to have being able to view that your webcam is actually being used at this point in time with the LED indicator. So with the lens cover, they could be accessing your microphone actually for days, weeks, months without you even noticing, um, which th th that's not a good idea. So option number two is manually disconnecting your webcam from your computer. Now that might be easy to do for some people and more difficult for others, depending on how you have your computer set up. It could be on the floor, tucked in somewhere, very difficult to reach places where you'd actually plug in a USB port. Um, other people might just not like doing that. I personally wouldn't do that. I like everything set up a certain way and left out how it is. So option number three that I want to investigate with you today, come along for the ride, is a switch, an inline USB switch that toggles on and off either the power or the data line of the, of the webcam. So the reason why it could be either the power or the data line or both is if the webcam isn't getting any power, it won't work. If the webcam isn't getting any data, it won't work. So we, we need to investigate a way that we can easily and ex accessibly turn this on and off so that we can disconnect our webcam essentially very conveniently when we're not using it. So how do we do that? How do we switch off our webcam conveniently when we're not using it? So we can pick up one of these. It's an inline USB switch. And I got this one off Amazon. It's from Wish Accessory, Wish ACC is the company. And it was $7, $6.99, and seems to provide the functionality that we want. In the description, it says that it carries data and power, which is not the case for all of these inline switches. They don't carry data, a lot of them. So that, that fits our requirements. And it looks to be that it powers off the five volt line within the cable. So, Let's install this, see how it works. We'll first do a test to make sure that it provides the functionality that we need. And we also want to see that we can use an extension cable with it and it won't interrupt anything or cause any negative impact for the webcam and the usage of it. So to begin, we're gonna need three things. We're gonna need the inline switch, a USB extension cable, because we're gonna to want to route this switch somewhere nice and convenient. And we're going to want, aha, the webcam. So let's test it. Let's unravel this. Boobity babbity bing. Bing. Plug extension into computer. Plug switch into extension. Plug webcam into switch. And power on. So, we do camera. 
we can now see me. This is good news. It means that the extension, the switch and everything is working. So we want to make sure that the on off functionality also works. Hello, goodbye. There we go. So now that we've tested that, that seems to be a great option for what we want to achieve. And then step number two, after testing is figuring out where we're going to route it. So what I want to do is be able to mount the switch on the underside of the desk so that when I get a video call, I can turn on my webcam, answer the video call, do what I need to do. And when that video call is ended, I want to be able to turn off the webcam using the switch. So we need to be able to mount it conveniently without having to fish around anywhere behind the PC. So how do we do that? The wise and astute of you have probably seen this in my hand. This is 3M automotive tape and it's one of my favorite things for mounting anything to anything, permanently, temporarily, it is incredibly strong stuff. Mount it to the back, put it on the underside of the desk, a lot of firm pressure for about 10 minutes. So that's how long it's going to take to actually adhere to the desk. And then after that, it will be pretty permanently stuck there. You'll be able to get it off by a good twist. It's going to be incredibly forceful, but that's, that's how we want it. We want it to remain there permanently unless we otherwise choose to remove it. So what I'm gonna do is switch things up, uh, take you over to a different camera angle, and I'll show you how to mount the 3M tape to the switch, the switch to the desk, the extension also to the switch, and then webcam also to the switch. And then set everything up and have it work ideally like we wanted at the beginning of this. So let's go. So this is going to be super simple. Um, it actually just gives me the opportunity to use my overhead camera mount. So this will be a lot of fun. Um, so what we need to do is we need to attach the 3M tape to the back side of the switch. Um, the reason why we're doing that is just so that we can have a good mount to the underside of the desk. This is probably going to be pretty clean, but we want to make sure it, it, it is clean. So grab yourself some tissue paper, something that's not too fibrous, like, like an actual tissue um, is because the fibers get everywhere and it's, it's just not going to be as good contact if you're trying to lay tape over fibers. So this is pretty non-fibrous. There's nothing really coming off when I'm playing with it. And we're also going to want some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I got 70%, but anything's really fine. It's, it's, we just want to clean off any grease that's on there. So it is going to be as simple as add alcohol to paper, apply paper vigorously to back of switch, and you'll watch that evaporate. Um, there we go. But if you want to just make sure that everything's off, use the reverse side of the paper. And then all that we need to do is apply the 3M tape now. So it's honestly as simple as one strip. Doesn't need to be perfect, but you do need some scissors. These guys, so cut about there and then I've actually got really thin automotive tape so I'm going to use a couple strips but if you have something slightly thicker you of course won't need to bing and then leave the top layer on um, of course you can peel this off but we will do that when we actually mount it to the underside of the desk. We don't want any, anything getting on the adhesive before, before we actually mount it. So what I'll do is I'll meet you down there. So next up, pre-apply rubbing alcohol to the tissue and then clean the surface that you want to adhere to. <laughs> nice and simple, just like we did on the switch. Give it a rub, make sure it's nice and clean. And then you want to take these strips off the little red bits. You can, they can be a bit tricky sometimes, but if you've got a little fingernail, you can get underneath it. There we go. 
both of the red tabs off, or the little strips, then it's, it's up to you how you route it really, um, depending on where you're going to be placing cables. You may want to be pointing this that way, the uh, male end that way, or the female end that way, without hitting yourself in the face. So I'm actually going to go male end this way, although it's not going to make too much of a difference to me. So options here are, are we mounting it to the underside of the desk or to the frame? And I'm going to choose the frame. I think that's going to be more convenient for me. So there we go. Now the trick to this tape is you want to be applying pressure for probably about 10 minutes. So you have two options, stay here or take a seat, put your hand underneath the table and clamp really hard. And that's probably what I'm gonna do. So now we're back up top. All that's left is to plug everything in. So we've had the switch down here and had pressure on it for about 10 minutes, like I said earlier, and it's now rock solid. It's, it's not moving. It's, yeah, exactly how we wanted it. So what's next is to plug in the extension, plug in the webcam, and we're good to go. We'll then test it one last time before we then call it success. So, So what we're doing here is plugging the extension into the male end of the switch, setting up the webcam and plugging that into the female end of the switch. Oop. And Plugged in a USB port first time without looking. I am a god. There we go. And now we're all set up. We can just test this out. Camera, flip that on. And we're all good. There we go. It seems like we've accomplished what we want to achieve. We've set up a webcam and set up the security around it so that we can turn the webcam on before we use it and turn it off after we use it. This then stops any hackers or anybody accessing our computer being able to use it because there is no connection between the computer itself and the webcam. So if you'd like to set your own up, I've got links to everything I used in the video description. We've got the switch, the extension cables, the webcam as well. If you want a Logitech C920, they're pretty good. I like it. Um, the 3M tape as well, that thing's amazing. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and a thumbs down if you didn't. If you really enjoyed the content, subscribe down below, hit the notification button and change your notification settings so that YouTube actually updates you when we release a video. And don't forget to check out the TechLens website, which is www.techlens.net. Um, we've got some awesome deals on there for you and some additional content for you to check out. So thank you very much, see you later.